Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode where we, in the previous episode, finished our monkey world where we now house the gorilla, chimpanzee, and bonobos within this last habitat. A super cool, more modern viewing gallery and elevated treetop habitat, which works super well for these chimpanzees. So, yeah, super happy how that one has turned out. And now today it's time to head back into the zoo again to expand it a little bit more. But um, before we do that, you guys, oh my goodness, what just happened here? Look at our finances. We are pretty much bankrupt. And I don't know what I did wrong here. Like, yeah, I spend a lot of money on this habitat. But is that really why we are now just losing so much money? Now, I did realize that I did not put down a donation box but i wonder if there are donation boxes like pretty close here to the chimpanzees like where are they i did hide them that's my problem now i i hide them all the time and now i don't know where they are but do we even have donation boxes right over here oh there is one here okay so maybe we should just oh oh and there's another one on that side okay let's just move this at least to like our people going out of this area i i i am assuming they are so maybe we should just hide this one um oh wait maybe just right over here at least one let's just move that one right over here okay so that should mean are people actually donating money here i hope they are because we definitely need some money what is going on Thirty thousand. i think we need to cut in 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 staff or something like that so i am going to fire three of them and hope we will not get into big trouble by doing that we do have a keeper that is connected to this habitat are we able to like i'm not entirely sure but like combine a keeper maybe for the chimpanzees and well these are pretty much pretty tiny habitats so if we have the chimpanzee habitat and then the bonobo habitat like oh this one already has a high workload but that maybe is also because well this one is also not trained not entirely sure guys if we should do that uh elephants yeah okay um food <laughs> If I see elephants, I need to think of how much food they actually eat. Gorillas eat tons, so we're going to lower that again. Oh my goodness, we are constantly switching here. Can I not just turn it to great one for every habitat? I mean, I think that is just the better thing to do as long as we're saving some money. Like, it's not much for some habitats, but lower this i really don't understand what just happened there our money is going up a little bit now but i do feel like we oh we need to try something else as well i did remove one of the the chimpanzees from this well like all the males because in the previous episode we constantly got like this this message that they were fighting for an alpha status and oh yes okay let's just uh derek i'm so sorry i fired you but now things seem to be going better. We are even expecting offspring. There's no more fighting. You are coming in here to bring some food. I think all the chimpanzees are quite relaxed right now. So we can maybe just... We have a common wombat. Is there any animal I don't want to lose? I don't think so. I think these are fossils from a different zoo that we had. Okay. Okay. I'm just... Oh, I cannot quick trade. It would be like exactly enough to get out of the rat numbers. The chimpanzees, we can quick trade these guys. 80, almost 19,000. And this one can be traded as well. Uh, this one as well. This one not. And this one as well. Okay, quick trade. There we go. Okay, so we, at least we are now earning some money again. Look. It even went up a little bit higher, so that is going well, because else we are not even able to uh, to build a new habitat in here. So if I now check, because we did put down 
the donation bin right over here. Okay, 340. I do have the feeling that maybe it's a little bit too far away, but there is one on each side. So yes, okay, this one is also earning quite some money. Is there another one right over here at the gorilla's habitat that is pretty much not earning any money? This one has money in it. Okay, so this one actually is doing the best. And I wonder if that is because we just need some extra donation boxes somewhere because like, would people actually not donate if a donation box is not close enough? I am not entirely sure about that, but I feel like we should just try that out. I do want to hide you a little bit because I do not like you. I cannot place one. Oh, oh, it's the money. Oh my goodness. We are bankrupt again. <laughs> this is so silly. I don't understand what just happened here. Like, what did I place down that is costing that much? Apart from food, we have water and a transformer right over here. Do we actually need to, like, remove one or two because they are covering like the same areas or something like that i think i did spread these out pretty equally so i'm not too worried about that um let's see what else can we do shall we just make sure that oh goodness how is this even possible like we had over 100,000 before we started building that monkey world habitat the last one and like, it's not like rocks and, and, and nature is costing us that much money. Is that, okay? is that a thing? Yeah, okay, well, so we did purchase like a lot, which is totally fine, construction cost. But is there like something that will come back every month or something? We don't have any loans, ongoing expenses. Zoo entrance tickets. Why is that on zero? A ticket refund. Wait a second. Ticket refund. Where is our zoo entrance tickets? Yeah. Oh, I th I was so shocked for a second there. I thought, what the heck just happened there? That we are not earning any money because of the tickets. How are you? Zoo could take ticket price is good. So we can ask a little bit more money, maybe. I'm gonna go for 65. Uh, zoo ticket price is good. Okay, so that should be helping us a little bit in here. Not entirely sure if we should raise something with the shops here, but I mean, it's it's quite busy here. So we could look into this just a little tiny bit. What do we get for the ATMs? Let's just raise that to 50 cents. I mean, would they not use ATMs if it's too much? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to check. Oh, the zoo ticket price is fair. Okay, they're changing their opinion right now. Um, I wish I could have stayed longer to see the koalas. Oh, that's right. How are koalas doing right now? We have koalas in here. The cuties. Where are they? Oh, they're right over here. We have a shop right over here as well. Oh, that's an information stand. Yeah, okay. Let's just not touch that. We have some koalas in here. Let's just see how they are doing. Are they still not climbing? Oh my freaking goodness. They are still not climbing. It's ridiculous. Uh, we have a Malaysian tapir about to get offspring. We actually need to check if they do have enough space in their habitat. Oh, <gasps> you... Oh, you're going to eat. Okay, I thought for a second you were about to climb. A uh, dangerous animal has escaped. A Javalski's horse? You kidding me? I want to see this, but what's going on? Hi. Oh, you're so adorable. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Uh, wait, where are you? Huh? Where are you? What the hell are you doing on the side? How did you get there? Oh, we don't have that much space. Let's just call a vet. <laughs> One out of three beds that we have. Um, how, how did you get here? I guess you are not really able to get out of here because of the rocks and the trees and stuff. So you're pretty much stuck. Not causing that many issues in here. Um, I, I wanted to say unfortunately because we have like these escaping animations. Which I barely saw 
anything. Are you guys seriously running because of the Shavalsky's horse? What? It's not even moving. Oh, that's so silly. I lost my balloon. Ha ha. Poor you. Okay, so um, this is going to take too long. Okay, but we obviously don't want... Oh, there was the fat. <laughs> the fat was right over here. But why are these people still running? Are we having more Shavalsky's horses being escaped then? There is one more. We have a male. Oh, that is you. Okay, so that one is now being transported back. We do have... Mm, this is a young one. You you are about to be quick traded. Be oh, well, because we're getting not that much money from you. But we are at least earning a little bit more money now. So that is going quite good. We have shops right over here that are really not busy. But that could be because of, of the Shavalsky's horse. Like making sure that a lot of guests left this area. Man, it's been such a long time so um, ago since we've been here. Oh, this is looking so cool, isn't it? I love it. And how has this donation been? Oh, yes, perfect. Thank you. Yes, there's quite some money in here to be earned. So I'm super happy with that. And we don't have any issues here with the space. So that is all good. We have a little bonobo baby. You're kidding. Oh, hello. Stop. <laughs> I want to see you. Oh, look at that adorable face. Oh, you do look really cute. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, the guests really would love to see you as well. So I do hope that you guys can all go outside. I really wish that the staff will be able to walk through this. I, I don't really understand because this looks bigger to me than the gate right over here so it's a little bit silly because this one is giving us errors as well because every every once in a while not sure not right now but every once in a while we get a message that the keeper cannot reach it oh lark gibbons oh that is great we actually can do some bonobo research here as well so savannah um, getting you off of the Bengal tiger to do some research and you are going to do some research for the Western chimpanzees. I think that is not a bad idea. Look how cool this looks. This is exactly how I wanted it to work with the bonobos just sleeping and chilling on this side. Uh, I do think I hear you guys scream a lot that I just want to have some uh, do not disturb sign turn over here because I do feel like these bonobos could actually use a little bit less shouting and screaming of these silly guests. Oh yeah, but on the other hand, you guys make a lot of noise as well <laughs> with your keyboard. <laughs> Oh man, I just love that animation so much. Right, okay, enough talking I wanted to say, but I do want to wanna, wanna build and hope that we are able to earn a little bit more money with that. We were talking about big cats in the previous episode, and I was talking about the, the jaguar, and actually, in one of my zoos, and I don't know which one, it might actually be this one, uh, we should be having a black jaguar somewhere, so I think, unless I'm able to, to get it from the trading center, but well, it's not that expensive, but I'm just going to try and find that one because I just love the black jaguar. And we're going to build a black jaguar habitat right over here, which is going to be a little bit inspired of the Jacksonville Zoo, but then also completely different with like an underwater tunnel and stuff. Uh, so yeah, exciting things. Um, but we don't have any money, but we don't have any loans. So you know what? I'm just going to take a loan right over here. Put this on the lowest amount of interest. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do it and take the risk and hope that we are able to earn some more money as soon as we have the Jaguar in our tropical franchise zoo.
This habitat took me quite some time to finish and I first thought like maybe I should just do it in two goes or like two videos, but no. I decided to pretty much finish it, but there, there are a few little things that need to be done, but I'm just so happy with how this is looking. So as I said, like this is inspired of, of the Jacksonville Zoo. I think they also have like this jaguar habitat that looks a little bit like this. So they have like an underwater viewing gallery here and then like a viewing gallery into the habitat from here. And I, I did give it my own twist, obviously, but it does look super nice. And I'm really happy to see that you can like recolor the pillars from the tropical pack I think they're from and this gives you like this really nice temple vibe but then with like this this mossy color on top of it which makes it super nice oh look at that to combine them as well with like the temple pieces from the South America pack so that's what we do what are you doing oh my goodness okay I did not check <laughs> To, like the traversable area if this would work super well so uh, uh yeah it is what it is but look how awesome this looks <gasps> a jaguar swimming around in here oh man this is just fantastic and yeah you can see it already right over here uh let's just start on this side uh this like this this part needs to be finished still we have a viewing gallery inside of this like more lush and jungle vibe area and they do have like a lot of climbing frames and stuff where they can climb up onto and, and enjoy and uh, then we have this viewing gallery right over here which also has like these beams and stuff for them to hopefully also uh, lay down or something like that i did give them a little bit of like an extra touch with like the liana or whatever i always uh, forget how you pronounce that word <laughs> oh my goodness it's actually <gasps> oh my gosh i love this i love this it's been such a long time ago since i've seen jaguar is actually deep dive and just look at this how awesome this is looking okay ah uh, i want to keep watching but i also want to want to show everything from all the sides but just look at this <gasps> this is amazing if you can also stand here and see them deep dive oh this is just fantastic okay so we can walk around here and then we have like this viewing gallery right over here so when the jaguar goes in oh man can you guys go away <laughs> When they go into the uh, the water right over here, they actually, oh my god, stop screaming, you people! <gasps> I need to add signs here as well. But look how awesome this looks. Oh, this is so good. So yeah, okay, we have one viewing gallery from here. You also have a peek here of like the staircase and stuff. Oh gosh, okay, uh, it's 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 light already. It's it's fine. So yes, okay, you have a really cool viewing from them when they go into the water and then we go down right over here. I still need to decorate this, this, this back area, the tunnel as well. Uh, but this is like a little, I first thought like maybe to make like this underwater tunnel or something like that. Um, but then I felt like no, because the water had to be like super big and, and I just didn't want to do that. So we have like this, I <laughs> know it's like on the water a little bit, but it does work. So you like the kids can like sit down right over here, uh, we pretend that they can. And then they can just enjoy the jaguar swimming above them. Like if we go lower, yeah, it, it, I don't know. I still do like the viewing inside of the water a lot more for some reason than if we just lower down. And see, oh, actually this looks really good. I do really like this. This is looking really nice. And we also have like this, this feeder. This one should be working still, but I added so much stuff around here. Uh, it, it has never been used, so not sure if it actually does work but it is accessible i mean this would be just like the perfect area oh you wait what <laughs> i think the jaguar was stuck for a second there but this is just awesome when you're able to see the jaguar eat from here so i i absolutely love this little area and i also was thinking to add like some some underwater webcam somewhere over here and to make some footage so even when the jaguar is not really uh, swimming and deep diving. 
that the guests can still enjoy it with some some screens right over here. So that is something that I still want to add in here. I think that's just a really fun idea. And I also thought, like, to get like you can tell that there are not that many guests downstairs, unfortunately. So I thought, like, maybe we should just add a few exhibits right over here to have some South American exhibit animals, obviously, and then、uh, to attract some more visitors downstairs. Like these guys are not even going to look right over here. I did add some Vista points, so it should be working, but not entirely sure、uh, what is going on here. But yeah, there is like this, this, this. I, I really like how this whole area is looking. We still have a lot of work to do, but yeah, there is a really nice jaguar habitat. And I first was very worried that no guests were actually walking right over here, but it seems to work quite fine now. It's actually so busy because it's probably also the newest habitat, and it works super well. The only thing was like I built this habitat. Pretty much like you see right now, like this, but obviously it was way too small. And I did add like this backstage building. This is the same one that we have for the gorillas, so it's it's nicely blend in with the、um, the the temple pieces right over here. As I said, they can also relax and chill right over here, and they can walk all the way upstairs. I did add like a toy right over here to hopefully make sure that they're. Going to use this a little bit more often. This is also from the Jacksonville Zoo, I think it is. That they have like these logs where they can hopefully、uh, chill and rest upon to when they are, yeah, just want. Oh, look, it's actually. <gasps> But why are they going outside? Wait, okay, wait. No, we we gotta see this. I really hope it's going to work as I want it to. Oh look! Oh my goodness! It is working, or at least I think. Did the jaguar actually grab some fish? Oh my goodness! Look at that. Just go lower. Out of. Look how different it looks when you go lower. I really wish this would be like functioning more properly. But well, we at least are able to build like these these type of underwater viewing galleries. But it's just so different when going one meter up. Look how awesome. It's been so long since we've seen deep diving cats in here. This is just amazing. Oh my goodness! Okay, there is so much stuff here. It's way too narrow, way too small, but I just like it because it just feels a lot more realistic like this.、Uh, but yeah, as I wanted to say, so、uh, I did first build this particular area, and obviously it was too small. So yeah, then I had to expand this all the way right over here. But this is not visible for the guests. We could potentially, if we want to, make another viewing gallery right over here. As of right now, I'm not planning to. I think this is totally fine the way how it is right now. And I think the jaguars pretty much use like mostly the water and stuff. So I'm not too worried about that to be honest. But I'm super happy with this habitat. It took really. A lot of sweat and tears, especially with like this this underwater、uh, viewing gallery right over here, and like the the pathing on this section to to get it right. But it did work out, and we only need to make sure that everything is going to look. Wait, did I? Oh, oh, protesters or something? What was that? We only need to make sure that everything is looking very nice. So that is what we're going to do in the next episode, and then we're going to add like these underwater rep cams and like what I saw, like finish the tunnel right over here. And I think it just runs perfectly fine. But yeah, our money is still an issue. I did take two loans,、uh, the fifty thousand one and the twenty thousand one. So that is definitely an issue. I don't know. We probably need to make sure that we fix that as well. Did we actually do some sloth management? Can I? Can I? Somewhere. Oh, look! You are actually eating. Did we do some management? Oh, we actually did. Sell for cash. Sell for cash. Like I was wondering because I remember that when we added the butterflies, that after that episode, things were going so well with、uh, our income. We have some animals dying in here. Citra has died. Oh no! Oh no! We're actually going to see this. 
Oh, this is going to be so sad. Oh, this, I hate this. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was really terrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, but at least you did die of old age. Oh, that was not really how I was planning to end this video. We have a low feral welfare on the Thompson Gazelle. You are an outsider. Oh, that means that we're probably having some animals that grew up right over here. Oh, yes. we, we Okay, we're going to keep two females. And we have a baby. And we're going to keep one male. So the rest is going to be put up in the training center. Oh, hello there. Oh, man. Did I forgot about you? For just a bit. Oh my goodness, they're just so freaking gorgeous. I don't know. I actually have not seen the new black rhinos uh, since they, they updated the animal. But yeah, the white rhino is definitely winning uh, for me regarding to being so majestic and stuff. But I actually don't know. Did you guys already check the black rhinos after the update? Like, how do they feel right now? Man. Just look at this view. Isn't this awesome? Anyways, okay, we're talking way too long here. I really would love to know what you all think of this new Jaguar habitat that we build. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.